work on showing you how one way that you can teach an emergency U-turn behavior to your dog. This is a behavior that if you're walking down the street and you see something you need to avoid, um, whether it's another dog, a piece of food on the street, um, a person you don't want to talk to, uh, whatever it is, you just need your dog to quickly turn and come the other way with you. This is a nice behavior to have for that. Um, in just a minute, I'm going to put Miha in her kennel here so that she is out of the way of the training and so that it's not distracting at all for Caster. Miha's used to hanging out in her kennel when we do training, so she should be just fine in there. But if I were working with a dog who, if I had multiple dogs in the house and they weren't used to that kind of setup, I would find some way to distract the dog who I was not going to be working with so that they wouldn't be bothering me and the working dog. So I might set them up in another room with a stuffed Kong or a snuffle mat or out in the backyard with another family member or something like that. Um, so that's just one thing to think about. I'm going to use uh, for my marker signal to tell Caster when he's done the thing that I want. I'm going to use a clicker. Uh, you could use a word like yes or good. Uh, so whatever you've decided to use as your marker signal is what you would use at the time when I'm clicking. The way that I'm going to work on this is I'm first going to just quietly lure Caster to follow me in the other direction with a treat. When he turns to follow, I'm going to mark with a click and then I'm going to feed him. Once he's done that multiple times, I'm then going to lure him with an empty hand instead of a treat in my hand. He'll still get the treat that after. If that's going well, then I'm going to add the verbal cue, which I'm going to call this way. I'm going to say this way, and then I'll lure with the empty hand and have him follow me. And then eventually I should just be able to say this way and turn and have him follow me. So we'll see how that goes. Caster, wait! Miha, get up! Get up, please! Miha, get up! Oh, I have 10 treats in my hand. I'm also going to hold the clicker in that hand. So he comes with me. I'm going to click and treat. So it's treat in front of nose. Come with me. Click and treat. So I'll do that a few times. One more. So now I'm going to do it with an empty hand. I'll do it with an empty hand again. So now I'm going to add the verbal cue this way. This way. Now I won't move my hand. This way. Wait till he finishes chewing. This way. Once we have that behavior going, you could practice in a similar way, first in other rooms of your house, then maybe in the backyard, then maybe inside with the leash on, and then maybe outside with the leash on somewhere that's not super distracting, and just slowly start layering your distractions in like that. This way.